Hey guys, Curtis back with a new video. This week's video is going to be covering the super long construction of this beautiful strongman log. Now this beautiful strongman log, which weighs 152 pounds right now, I still need to put loading pins on, but right now just wood, just rope, 152 pounds, started as over a 500 pound big old timber that uh, we cut down. We took it back and I had a vision for what I wanted it to be and basically wanted to bring you guys along for the adventure that is the creation of this log starting with this and going to this. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Stick around to the end and I will see you at the other side. So what I've done is I've basically marked out on the ends a 12 inch box and my plan is to basically make that box. I've also leveled the line uh, with the earth like where it currently sits and what that will allow me to do is by snapping a line on each side of the log I'll be able to kind of test and see how I'm doing because in theory if everything is level and perpendicular to the earth as I begin cutting on this as I finish this first layer it should end up being level. So we'll see how it goes. touch real quick on some of the whys on how I am actually doing the big log. With the smaller log, basically the diameter of the log that I went and found was pretty much the diameter of the, the final product that I wanted. So I wanted to remove as little material as possible while still getting the diameter that I wanted. Now what that left me with was a little bit of a wave, you know, kind of that natural uh, formation of the log itself is built into the final product and it looks good uh, but for this one what I wanted was something that was very defined so I wanted like a 12 inch log and what we're actually cutting on right here is not silver maple it is a piece of hickory which is a giant uh, misidentification by me however hickory is still a solid wood to make a log out of so what I plan on doing is now if you see here there's kind of like a natural curve down in the log but this log started at 16 inches in diameter so what I'm doing is removing basically think about it like two inches off of each side and what that does is it brings me to a 12 inch square once I have that square I'll know that it's 12 inches from here to here here to here basically it's a 12 inch log all throughout now mind you these are I'm, I'm rounding here, so it's probably gonna be a little bit more than 12 inches because it is going to shrink a little bit. Uh, the box I drew on the, on the sides are 12 inches. However, uh, I guarantee you that it gets wider as you get towards the middle portion. So that's kind of the why I'm making the box first. So what I'll do is I'll make the box and that gives me basically four uniform sides. And then what I'll end up doing is I'll tilt the log up at a 45 degree angle and I'll create another, uh, basically turning it from four into eight sides uh, and it'll be all 12 inches. And then at that point, you turn it from eight to 16 and then, it, then you kind of have like a log going again and that's where it'll be a lot more draw knifing and getting it into a circular shape.
just over 12 inches by just over 12 inches tall. The next step is going to be uh, basically drawing this exact same box, except for I'll be drawing it 45 degrees. So it'll be a 45 here, 45 here, here, and here. And then of course I'll do that on both ends. And once that's done, I will uh, be mocking this log up at a 45 degree angle and doing the exact same thing. And that's gonna get us closer and closer to that 12 inch log that I'm looking for at the very end. that you do is going to have its share of difficulties. First off, I'd like to apologize for the noise next door. They're drilling a well. It's getting wild and crazy. All right, originally with this knot, I had planned to make this like the handhold for this hand, uh, which worked because before I had this nice beautifully cut end, I had approximately that much more log or so, about that much. So the way that it worked is I went ahead and as you saw in the video, I cut off the end. There was some, some rot, if you will. Um, I'm sure that someone has a better term for it, but basically I could see on the outside that like some sort of bug or something, carpenter ant had gotten into this wood and I had probed it before, but I didn't think it went very deep. So I went ahead and I probed it, marked it on the outside, and I cut it like you guys saw earlier. The problem was that when I got to that and I cut this off, I discovered this. So I was like, okay, well, it's still there. Let me probe it again. So I probed it again, sizable chunk of wood, got to the end, found that. So I got a little bit upset, probed it again, and I had almost reached it. So I probed it, and mind you, every single time I probe this, there's like little twists and turns and stuff I'm not able to, uh, to take account of. So lost another piece, but I reached the end of whatever was eating the tree. Carpenter ants or probably something like that. So because of that, it moved my hand position, if I'm keeping it straight, basically over here, which puts this knot straight into my chest. So here we are, 
And uh, originally I wanted this to be like a really nice long walk with uh, basically just like a challenge type weight uh, experience. Obviously that is probably not gonna happen anymore because now in order to make this uh, rest into my chest without doing like some sort of backfill with epoxy after I dig out all of this, oh, there's a lot in there. It's like it, the camera doesn't do it justice. There's a lot of wood that needs to be chipped out of there. So in order to do that, I have to chip it all out, backfill with epoxy, something I really don't want to do because eventually that epoxy is going to cloud over. It's just going to be a maintenance nightmare. I don't want to do it. Also, I don't like the look of just like a random epoxy area uh, in the middle of this log. For some people, that might work. For me, it's not what I'm interested in. So what I'm going to end up doing to make this the center of the handhold is basically lopping off this side of the log. So I'm going to lose a lot of material, but what I'm going to end up with is a log that is about 50-ish inches long, which is still a perfectly good size wooden strongman log. It's just not gonna weigh the like, you know, 250 to 300 pounds that I wanted it to weigh initially. Or at least I don't know. I, I actually have no idea how much it'll weigh. Uh, the nice part is it'll make it easier to work on because it'll be lighter. And lighter is easier to work on. Hope that you enjoyed watching this build as much as I enjoyed doing it. Just as a G whiz uh, bit of information, this log started on the 20th of May and I finished it on the 9th of August. So I've got two kids, full-time job, plus I'm doing the YouTube thing on the side and I train every single day to compete in strongman. I was able to do it. I am very, very busy uh, and I moved during that time frame. So if I can do this, so can you. So if you have access to and basic knowledge of tools, I do challenge you, make your own strongman log. It's incredibly rewarding. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys that have made it to this point in the video. And remember that when it comes to your garage gym, you should always make it better, awesome, and of course, badass. I'll see you guys next time.